And this is the most ghetto rigged I've ever done this news. I've currently got you guys on top of two Nintendo DS's, an external hard drive, and a tissue box. Now cue that sexy intro. Yeah, that's right. New introduction video. What's up? What's going on, y'all? The Brandon Brown's name with another episode of TVP Unscripted, episode 27. Aw, oh, yeah. So I got a few bits of really, really, really big news. And the first bit of really big news is that currently we are sitting on 6,151 subscribers with 2 million... 27,926 views. You guys, holy shit, we finally got over 6,000 subscribers. We finally have over 2 million views, and I have you guys to thank for it. I never in a million years would have thought that I'd have 6,000 subscribers. I never in a million years thought that I'd have over 2 million views. Even recently, my Five Nights at Freddy's sequel wishlist has gotten over 22,000 views, and that number is going up and up and up every day. When I looked at this on Thursday, it had, like, just barely over 10,000 views. Um, so, this blows my mind. You guys are amazing. I love you so much. Thank you. If this video is a little choppy, I apologize. Uh, Still kind of getting over my cold, and I will go into random coughing fits. I literally just had, like, a big one. So, yeah, sorry about that. The next bit of really big news, if you missed my last video, is that my new album is out. Um, Failing Upward, I just released it last night. And, oh, that was hot. And I'm really excited. I think that this is honestly my best work to date. And the best news is, is as always, it is 100% for free. If you guys don't want to pay for it, you don't have to pay for it. Down there, it'll be either the first or the second link in the description, the crotch bar, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, it's out, and I am excited, and it's free, so you guys should totally pick that up. The last bit of news is I'm back in school, and I might have a job. I'm not going to talk too much about the job thing, because, uh, A, I don't have it yet, but it's looking like I'm going to get it, and B, that's just kind of a personal thing, but I might be employed, and I am currently back in school to get my high school diploma, and after that, I will be, um, possibly going in, well, not possibly, I'm definitely going into the culinary field. I am going to become a chef, and that's going to be a year-long program. Uh, the next class, or the next time that the classes start for that are in January, and it's looking like I will have my diploma by then, and that is really, uh, really exciting news for me. Um, however, what that means is that I'm living at my dad's for half a week right now, Meaning that it's a little more difficult for me to make videos on a regular basis, which is why you've only been getting, like, one upload a week from me for the past, uh, couple of weeks. So, until I get a computer over at my dad's, it's looking like I'm either A, only going to be doing one video a week, or B, I'm going to, uh, try and record a couple in advance, and I will release them as the week goes on. Um, I'll upload them and then just make them public once, um, once, when, whenever I feel like it. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet, but, uh, I'm in school, and that's super, super exciting. And there's a new album, and I have 2 million views and 6,000 subscribers, and, you guys, I'm just so happy right now. You know what else I'm happy about? Answering your questions. Smooth transition is smooth again. Fat stack of questions this month. So we're going to start with Zim294. Uh, his first question is, who are some overrated slash hated creepypasta narrators? Um, I'll be honest, I only know three. Uh, Mr. Creepypasta, Creepypasta Jr., and Creeps McPasta. 
I think that cream smick pasta is fantastic. Um, I can't remember who it is, but it's either Creepy Pasta or Creepy Pasta Junior. Um, I kind of uh, I'm not too huge on them. I feel like their voice is a little too uh, high pitched for it. Of course, I really don't have much of a right to talk. Um, it's a little too high pitched and it's really monotone. He doesn't really put a whole lot of emotion into it. Um, I wish I could remember which one it is, because I don't want to be giving the wrong guy, uh, shit, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Mr. Creepypasta, don't quote me on that one, it might be Creepypasta Jr. Question number two, have you seen Panty and Stocking or Black Lagoon? I have not. Question number three, what are your thoughts on DSP or Dark Side Phil? Uh, never heard of him. I might go ahead and check him out once I'm done recording this video. Question number four. What do you think of YTP? Have you ever thought of doing them? I feel really bad because I don't know what that is. And that's like the third question in a row where I've had like no knowledge. Haven't really seen uh, what you're asking me about. I have no idea what YTP is. So if you want to uh, explain it to me in the comments, I will let you know what I think of it and have I ever thought of doing them. Question number five. You go back in time. You must either A. Fuck a southern bigoted preacher from 1967 while he is beating a gay black man, or B. Stop a Japanese tentacle porn mid-session to give Gandhi and Bill Nye? What? Save Gandhi and Bill Nye. There we go. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna save Gandhi and Bill Nye from the Japanese tentacle porn monster. Uh, that's, um, kind of a no-brainer. It doesn't involve me, uh, fucking someone who stands against everything I believe in. And I get to save Gandhi and Bill Nye. I mean, Gandhi was kind of a prick, but Bill Nye is cool. Anal Butt Monkeys asks, What's your favorite DLC from Fallout 3 or New Vegas? I haven't really fucked around with a lot of the New Vegas DLC. Um, I have it all. I just... I've never started that series of quests. However, um, I did get the Game of the Year edition of Fallout 3. Um, and I really liked the uh, I, Mothership Zeta, I think it was, the Alien one. I thought that was a really cool and different setting for Fallout. Uh, I really enjoyed playing through the quest. I loved the weapons that you got in that. Um, yeah, Mothership Zeta all the way. Big Bad Banshee 13 has three questions. First, who is your favorite sidekicks in video games, TV shows, cartoons, animes, and comic books? Uh, my favorite uh, sidekick of all time is also my favorite superhero of all time, um, Robin slash Nightwing, specifically Nightwing. Um, I love Dick Grayson to death. He is just my fucking favorite of all time. Um, TV shows and video games, um, I always thought that Tails was cool. I mean, kind of lame, but I appreciate Tails. Uh, Luigi. Luigi is one of my favorite video game characters of all time, and he's often portrayed as Mario's sidekick. I fucking love Luigi to death. Um, so my two would definitely be Nightwing and Luigi. Big Bad Banshee's second question is, Things people do to make you facepalm. Um, I've become a lot more uh, aware to insensitivities, and I kind of facepalm when someone accidentally says some really insensitive shit without realizing that it's insensitive. Like various super misogynistic, homophobic, transphobic comments that people don't even realize they're making. Uh, racist shit that people don't realize they're saying, and even though I will give some of these things the benefit of the doubt because people don't know any better, it makes me face palm that we live in a society where uh, people don't know any better when they say or do these really problematic things. So that's probably a little bit deeper of an answer than you were looking for, but that's kind of the big one in my mind right now. Question number three, what wrestler do you think has the biggest dick? Andre the Giant. Come on. His name is Andre the Giant. He's gonna be packing like... Bah. Joe Metamoles has three questions. The first one is, are you going to make more parody music like I'm Obese and I Know It? Um, yes. I want to do more parody music sometime in the future. I'd actually like to have a full parody album out. 
Uh, right now, the issue is that I'm in school, so a lot of my time is uh, kind of spent either in school or studying or stuff like that, plus with the job coming up. Um, I don't really have the time to devote to parodies that I would like. But one day, I want to have a full parody album out. I want to go back and clean up Ovis and I Know It, and clean up Occupy. Um, I'm really proud of those songs lyrically, but I kind of, like, looking back at it, knowing what I know about recording audio now, there's certain points of both songs that I feel I could have improved drastically. So I'd like to re-record those, and I'd like to record a bunch of new ones, uh, probably not under the Dr. Frank and Ryan banner, um, it's not really a Dr. Frank and Ryan thing, but maybe like using my own name or something like that. His second question is, what's your opinion on the Bella Twins storyline? Dude, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I have not sat down and watched wrestling, uh, probably since, like, Wrestlemania, around Wrestlemania. I have the vaguest idea of what's going on with 90% of the storylines. Um, and by 90%, I mean like 20%. I know what's going on with Brock Lesnar, but that's about it. And it sucks because I just don't have the time to sit down and watch it anymore. Uh, so I can't really comment on that, and I apologize for it. Joe Menable's last question is, have you played the new Smash Bros. game yet? If yes, what do you like about it? I have not played it. Um, I really, really want to. I'm really excited about it coming out for the Wii U. I actually have a Wii U, so, well, my little brother has a Wii U, so I'll actually be able to, like, get it and play it. Um, one thing, I have a friend who's gotten to play it for a little while, and he said that Mega Man kind of plays like Samus, which really bums me out. Uh, I was really hoping that they were going to try and go a different route with him, but, uh, other than that minor complaint, which is a second-hand complaint, I'm really, really excited for it. Duncan Batch has seven questions. First of all, he says, have a great October and Halloween. Thanks, you too, Duncan. Uh, but his first question is tea or coffee, that all depends on um, what the scenario is. If I'm just trying to relax, I definitely like a cup of tea. If I'm trying to wake up and get going for the day, coffee all the way. Do you like to get crunk? Yes, I actually did uh, quite a bit of drinking earlier today. I mostly sobered up, but I, uh, I, I did a lot of drinking. I did the evolution of shots, well, most of them. Which, like, there's a series of shots based on each of the evolutions, and I had a Flareon, I had a Jolteon, I had a Glaceon, and I think I had an Umbreon. So that was, like, half of the evolution of shots, plus I did a bunch of other nerdy themed shots, like I did a Spider-Man. Uh, I wish I can remember what went in these shots, but, uh, I did quite a- I had a Spyro the Dragon, uh, I did quite a bit of drinking, quite a bit more than I should have, but, um, I've mostly sobered up and I feel just fine, so that's good. What sword would you own from any series? I mean, I'd like to say the Buster Blade, uh, but realistically, I would never be able to do anything with the Buster Blade other than look at it and think to myself, boy, I wish I was strong enough to lift that up. Um, the Keyblade would be kind of cool. I'm not too huge on Kingdom Hearts, but I think it'd be really cool to have a uh, Keyblade. I'm trying to think of what so um, uh, Zero's laser sword thing from Mega Man X. That would be really cool to have. Um, the sword from Tenchu, Ricky Mario's sword from Tenchu, I'd really like to have. Uh, and of course, uh, the Master Sword from Legend of Zelda. That should be... That should go without saying. What hero would you like to be if you can be a hero? Uh, I'd like to be a hero who can fly or teleport or something like that, but then again, everyone can fly or teleport. Uh, I think it'd also be really cool to be like a Nightwing style hero or a Static Shot kind of hero. Like the idea of controlling electricity has always been really cool to me. And the idea of just being able to do things a normal person can do, but a million times better has always appealed to me, like Nightwing, like being unbelievably smart, being able to do computer stuff, being able to do free running, uh, knowing a bunch of martial arts and stuff. Um, 
I'm kind of all over the place with this question, aren't I? Um, <clears throat> I I'm going to go ahead and say mix between Nightwing and Static. Uh, being able to do all the stuff that Nightwing can do, but also control electricity, because that sounds really fucking cool. Fat Ninja or Fat Samurai in a death battle, who would win? Um... I mean, the Fat Ninja would pretty much have the art of stealth completely taken away, uh, because he's a Fat Ninja, so probably the Fat Samurai. Would you play the hero or the asshole? I'd be a hero, but I'd also be an asshole. Cane Sword or Cane Gun? Cane Gun would probably be a little more efficient, but I'm gonna go with Cane Sword. Blue Rose asks, now that you've made some videos, how is the mic? Right, so the microphone I am using was a gift from my friend Blue. Blue, you are amazing. The microphone is working like a dream. It sounds really, really good. Uh, I actually used the microphone for my last Theory Addict and the Five Nights at Freddy's wish list, so it sounds really good. Thank you, you are a fucking angel. And the final question comes from Mr. Squibbles. You have all seven Dragon Balls. What do you wish for? Um, <clears throat> I want to kind of be like the typical villain and ask for immortality just to be a facetious dick, but uh, realistically, I would never ever want to be immortal, so I'm going to go ahead and wish for the other super villain thing and ask for like five billion dollars. No, 34 billion dollars, because it takes two billion one dollar bills to fill an Olympic sized swimming pool. And I want to have 17 Olympic-sized swimming pools filled with money. So $34 billion. Uh, so that way I can buy all the stuff that I want to buy. I can buy everyone I love, everything they want. And I can donate a shit ton of money to charity. And still have, like, <clears throat> $20 billion left afterward to do with what I please. As shadow of an answer is that like me that's what i'm given and that about does it for this episode of theory Attic, down there in the comments section as always leave me questions love answering your questions also go download that new album it's free you have no reason not to download it because it's free i think that my most downloaded album right now has like 32 downloads 34 downloads and I want this to be my new most downloaded album, so go down there, it's either the first or second link in the crotch bar, I have a knot in my hair that I'm fixing, either first or second link down there in the crotch bar, go download that. And hey, while you're down there, go join the Chameleon Couch Productions Facebook fan group, buy a t-shirt, check out all the other sexy channels, follow me on all the social media sites, but hey, most importantly, remember to like, comment, subscribe. The Brandon Brownson, signing out.